Hey guys, so Shattered Family Portrait is my next story, written in script and dialogue form. It's deep and personal to me. I really wanted this piece to reflect so much of who I am as a writer. I hope you appreciate it. So this is episode 20, To Forgive or Not, First Ending. So when I got to the middle of this story, I think it was like episode 10 or 11, I had thought of the idea of making two endings. It was really important to write the last episode, actually, because that fight with the demon was what determines his fate, Anthony's, from the two endings. So this episode is him losing that fight. This opens up where Aaron and Anne are sitting in the living room watching the Weather Channel. There's a Category 5 hurricane coming. A high possibility is going to hit, or maybe turn. I think that if you pay attention, you can see the Easter eggs in this episode, especially with the name of the hurricane. Ian was actually going to finally tell Aaron about his tumor, but then he turns up the volume, them confirming that it's actually going to hit, and the first place is going to be near Gigi's home. Even though Aaron thinks his father is still with Gigi, which he actually isn't, because as we know from episode 18, The Fallen Hero, he left. He still decides to call her, but becomes a little worried that she's not picking up the phone. From there, I mention Pedro has made his final decision to leave her, leaving a note at the house with the divorce papers, taking his things, heading off to California to start a life there where his brother is. I think Pedro's character has always battled whether he should stay or go. And for him, this was his biggest accomplishment. It was his way of evolving as a character. And for him taking that wedding ring off on the plane right next to right before his new life, was very powerful, even though his part was not as huge in this episode. From there, we go to Gigi. She's reading the note Pedro left her and noticed he's finally signed the divorce papers. Although they fought a lot, she never thought that he would actually cave. And considering their history and everything she's done, there's much sadness to her, and the silence in the house reminds her that she really is alone. She even thinks that her dead son that was haunting her is gone, which of course he's not. Since Anthony did not pass the demon's test, he's bound to this house for eternity, for as long as it stands. Not only does he have that ugly fate, but he also is evil, vindictive, and insidious. He's no longer a ghost, but an evil entity, Every close, very close to a demon, so his power is much stronger. So when he appears before her, she's actually scared because she realizes this isn't a ghost anymore. <clears throat> On top of it, she has to deal with the hurricane because Anthony has removed the shutters from the window because he feels it's, it's because he feels it's gonna suffer. She's gonna suffer in this house it's meant from all the mem- memories she's done, and this is gonna be her destiny. Aaron coming to save Gigi was really important, not only for it to help her, but for there to be forgiveness between those two characters, but to show Anthony that he can still do the right thing. I think this episode is very strong and very powerful, filled with emotion. Stay tuned for the alternative ending.